Hey, I'm Anthony Romano, and the title of this video is, Does Sugar Deplete You of Nutrients? This is a very interesting topic, especially because even though I'm a big keto guy, and I've been doing it for like a decade, I always tell people sugar is not the devil, okay? Sugar is not some poison like a lot of keto gurus will tell you. They'll tell you that sugar is the worst thing for you, but that's not true. Of course, you can get all of your sugar's daily needs from your liver producing sugar, but the point is, realistically, sugar is not the devil, but high carb diets, high sugar diets that everybody seems to be consuming nowadays will lead to a variety of problems. One of which is nutrient deficiencies and mineral deficiencies. I'm gonna explain them in this video. I'm gonna explain some of the studies behind them. And before I get into that, if you could like the video, that will make YouTube show my content to more people. That's all you have to do to help me grow this page. Let's get into it. So how does sugar deplete you of nutrients? Well, I'm gonna start off by explaining scurvy. Okay, you know scurvy, the vitamin C deficiency where people turn orange? Well, there was a study done back in like the 20s, okay, actually a little bit earlier, by a gentleman called Stephenson, okay? His name was Stephenson. His first name is like Wilhelmer, so, and I've read his book, not by Brett alone, great book, but I read, the, I read it when it was originally called Fat of the Land, but I don't have that copy anymore. So I have now, not by Brett alone. But the point is, Stephenson and his buddy, Okay, not his buddy. This guy's like a scientific professional back in the day. Uh, Johnson, I believe his name was. They decided to live with Eskimos and eat their diet of like 100% meat. This was an experiment they had done to see if they encountered any health problems because the society of Eskimo that was eating only meat seemed to have, you know, no problems health-wise. Now, granted, I'm not telling you you have to eat only meat. All I ever claim on this page that you just can benefit by cutting out sugar from your life for periods of time. Okay, that's what keto is and it doesn't necessarily mean you have to eat only a carnivore diet or whatever. Okay, I have plenty of people who are vegetarian keto dieters I've worked with. I've worked with a couple of vegan keto dieters. Okay, it does. It is a little bit more challenging, but the point is all keto means is don't cut out, don't don't eat sugar. Okay, cut out sugar. So, from there, these people, Stephenson and Johnson, I believe his name was, they had no problems after like years of living with this this group of people, and. The reason was they later found out in studies, okay, first they found out eating no carbs does, does not deplete you of nutrients, right? You do not get scurvy. But then afterwards, years down the line, we have other work. There's one study I recall, which I had thrown in the Keto Shred program, which is my book for the best fat loss strategies on keto on my website, romanoketo.com. There's a study I referenced in there by Dr. James D. Antonio on how sugar can actually lead in excess to deficiencies of certain nutrients. So particularly the water soluble vitamins. So vitamin C, the B vitamins. And this is because a lot of these will compete with absorption. For example, vitamin C competes with sugar for absorption. So when you are doing a ketogenic diet or a diet that is very low in carbohydrate, you are basically creating a less challenging environment for vitamin C to get used. Now, granted, the difference is only really significant if somebody is not eating any carbohydrates, because if you're still eating on a carbohydrate metabolism, so even 100 carbs a day, you're not getting any of the benefit. But the point is you're creating a less challenging environment, environment for certain vitamins to be absorbed and used. And a lot of these other foods, that, which used to be very carb dense back in nature, so thousands of years ago, the grains, right? They were far more mineral rich. Okay, the soil had more minerals in it. Nowadays, it does not from human agricultural engineering. So the way this has manifested itself is that nowadays we have virtually no minerals in our you know, grain supply and you're not getting any, but because of this added sugar in there as well, because of the competition with water soluble nutrients, we have less vitamins actually getting into your body and getting used properly and absorbed. And in fact, in many cases, we have other anti-nutrients in some of these foods, which compete with the absorption for certain minerals. So a lot of these foods, for example, even with, uh, I know spinach is a good example for oxalate, but there's an anti-nutrient called oxalate, okay? Calcium oxalate, and it, it, it competes with iron for absorption. So anytime you're, or even, you know, we can get into other minerals here, magnesium, potassium, there's a lot of other minerals that will be in competition with certain anti-nutrients. But the point is, any food which comes from the ground has to have a defense mechanism because plants want to live just as much as you and I do. Now, if you're somebody who's coming big from the, the carnivore camp, you'll know plenty about this because, you know, they'll really dive into the anti-nutrients and how, you know, they can deplete you of certain minerals in your body. But basically, I'm trying to enlighten you right now to the fact that having these foods, having these grains with these wheat proteins, these glutens, these barleys, these other problematic wheat gliadin, these other wheat proteins that might be depleting you of other nutrients and minerals, is a problem and you have to keep them in moderation. My preferred way to keep this in moderation is to do a ketogenic diet most of the time and basically work carbs into my lifestyle 
but after you're keto adapted that's the best way to do it in my opinion and that's how i tend to do it with most of my clients but that being said do sugar does sugar deplete you of nutrients not not i'm not going to say a hard stop like as if sugar is poison but having a high carb diet will absolutely deplete you of nutrients it will absolutely put more pressure on your arteries and more inflammation and you know we've seen this in a lot of work but and i've worked with athletes high level athletes who have burnt out their glucose system and you know completely destroyed their physical capabilities and we've had to bring it back with a lot of other protocols but the point is keep these things in moderation be aware of the fact that if you're at a time where maybe you feel sick or you need a high dose of vitamin c a high carb diet is going to conflict with that so that's ultimately the takeaway of this video and if you want to learn more watch my other videos i explain a lot of these other concepts in deeper detail with longer videos but i'm trying to make some short ones to help open people's eyes on that note, if you want to get consulting and coaching for these things specifically, I'm running a 20% coaching sale on my website right now, RomanoKeto.com, and I also have consultations where we can have a 60-minute call, and then I'll write up an action plan for you so you can get to the bottom of all your fitness goals and health goals. And that being said, I also have the Keto Shred program, which is the best fat loss program out there for ketogenic dieting, in my opinion, and I'm biased because I wrote it, but I wrote it over 10 years, basically, of my experiences and coaching experiences. Thank you for watching. Anthony Romano, like the video, subscribe. Peace.